how to do a Google reverse image search on mobile devices. In this video, I'm going to be showing you four ways in which you can reverse image search on mobile devices. Three will involve using the Google app and the final method will involve using the Google Photos app. For this video demonstration, I'll be using an Android smartphone as my mobile device. As you can see, I'm on my Android home screen and the first thing we need to do to get the Google app is to open up the Google Play Store. The Google Play Store is on the bottom left of my home screen. I'm just going to tap on it to open it. Once your Google Play Store has opened, at the very top, tap on the search box and search Google and then tap on the magnifying glass to search. The app that we're looking for is the one at the very top called Google by Google LLC. I'm just going to tap on it now to open up the installation page for the app. As you can see guys, I already have the Google app installed and therefore I only have two options to open the app or to uninstall it. For you, if you don't have the Google app installed on your device yet, you'll have the option to install it. Tap on the install button to begin the installation of the Google app. Because I already have the Google app, App, I'm just going to swipe up from the very bottom and close the Google Play Store to be taken back to my home screen. Once the Google app has been installed on your device, tap on it to open it. As you can see, the Google app for me is on the bottom right hand side. I'm just going to tap on it now to open it. Once your Google app has opened, you'll be on the Discover tab. You can perform your steps in the Discover tab. However, I would advise using the Search tab. So just tap on Search at the very bottom. Great, so now we're ready for our first method using the Google app. The first method will involve an image you found on Google Images. At the very top of the search box here, if I was to enter something in here, for example, these keywords here and search for it and then tap on images, you'll see a bunch of images for that particular search term. And let's say if I wanted to pick this woman here to do a reverse image search on at the top left hand corner here, then all I would need to do is tap on her picture. And then as you can see on her image, at the bottom left hand corner, there is a little icon for Google Lens. Tap on the Google Lens icon and then you'll be greeted with a small selection box here where you can select a part of the image to do a reverse image search on. So I'm going to select the entire image here by moving the box to the edges of the image. Once you've selected the part of the image that you wanna do a reverse image search on, underneath you'll see all the visual matches for your image. And as you can see, there is a lot of visual matches with this person's image on multiple sites, which may mean this person has multiple identities. If I wanted to deep deeper into this reverse image search, I'd tap on one of the sites for the visual matches. So for example, let's say if I wanted to go deeper into the reverse image search, I'd pick a site like the advancedcharity.org.uk one. I'm just going to tap on it now to open it and then tap on visit. And here I'll be able to see the full site and find the same image of the person on the site. Great. So that's the first method. So I'm just going to go back here all the way back to the original Google image search. The next method using the Google app will involve doing a reverse image search of an image on a particular site that's not on Google images. So for example, I'm just going to go to the main site of where I found this image by tapping on the visit button here. So I'm on the unsplash.com website now, which is a website full of stock photos. Let's say you found this image on a particular site such as Facebook or Instagram. To do a reverse image search on these sites using the Google app, all you'd need to do is long press on the image to be greeted with this menu here and then tap on search image with Google Lens. You may be greeted with a notification. If you are, tap on continue. Again, you'll need to highlight the parts of the image that you'd like to do a reverse image search on. So I'm just going to highlight the entire image once again. As you can see, underneath the image, you've got your visual matches with 23 results. So if I tap on view 23 results here, you can see all the results for that image that the Google app has found for you. If I go back here and swipe up, you can see that for the visual matches, we're currently on search. There's also translate, text, homework, shopping, places, and dining. These are subcategories that allow you to identify the visual matches for the types of sites that the image appears on. I'm just going to highlight the image once again because it was not fully highlighted after going through the categories there. And now you also have an additional option and that is to do a Google image search. Underneath your image at the bottom right, there's an icon with a magnifying glass and the world. If I tap on it, a new tab will open on your web browser, taking you to Google Images. Google will enter a search term for your image. So in my case, it says middle-aged Australian woman. Underneath that, you'll see the dimensions of my image and an option to see more sizes for that particular image. Underneath that, you'll see results for middle-aged Australian woman. And you can see a thumbnail preview for your image on all the sites that your image appears on. So it appears on that, that, many sites actually. And then at the very bottom, you have visually similar images, but we're not really interested in that. 
we're interested in the results that Google Images has presented for us. So just to prove to you that it is indeed on these sites, I'm just going to tap on the first search result here. And then as you can see, there you go. Our image that we reversed image search appears on this site. I'm just going to go back now and back again and back again to go back to the original site of unsplash.com where we originally did the reverse image search on. The last method using the Google app will involve a downloaded image, which you have stored on your mobile device. So let's say this image here is an image of somebody that I found on another site and I've downloaded it onto my mobile device. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm going to long press on this image and I'm going to download the image. You would do this, for example, if you found the image on Facebook or Instagram, etc. So once your image has been downloaded, go back to the start of the Google app. At the very top, you should see a camera icon. Tap on the camera icon. This will open up the Google Lens part of the Google app. At the very top, you have the ability to take a photo and search with your camera. Underneath that, you can see all your images that you have stored on your device. As you can see, guys, we can see the image image that we have downloaded of that woman. To do a reverse image search of this downloaded picture using the Google app, simply tap on it. And then once again, you need to select the parts of the image that you'd like to do a reverse image search on. Similar to method two, you can see the visual matches here, which now are showing 25. Your subcategories are at the very bottom. And then again, you have the option to do a Google image search by tapping on the icon. And there we go, guys. You can see this time, Google's keywords that it searches for is women 40s. And the results for this keyword are all here. And there we go. At the very bottom, you have visually similar images once again. That concludes all the methods using the Google app. I'm now going to go back to my home screen by swiping up from the bottom. The final method that I'm going to show you now will involve the Google Photos app. So the first thing we need to do is open up the Play Store once again, tap on the search box, and search for Google Photos. Once you've done that, tap on the magnifying glass to search. At the very top, you should see the Google Photos app. Tap on it to be taken to the installation page. As you can see, the Google Photos app by Google LLC is already installed on my device. I only have the option to open it or uninstall it. You should see the option to install. Tap on install to begin the installation process. I'm now going to swipe up from the very bottom to be taken back to my home screen. Once the Google Photos app has been installed on your mobile device, locate the Google Photos app and then tap on it. So I'm just going to do that now. Once you've opened up Google Photos, locate the photo that you're going to be doing a reverse image search on. For me, my photo is in the library section. So I'm just going to tap on library. And as you can see in library, in the download folder is my image. So I'm just going to tap on downloads now and then tap on my image. Once you've located your image and tapped on it to select it, at the very bottom, you should see share, edit, lens, and delete. Tap on lens. Like the other three previous methods that I showed you using the Google app, you have the ability to select parts of the image that you'd like to do a Google image search for. And similarly, at the bottom, you have your visual matches. This time it's 24 and you can view all 24 by tapping on view 24 results. If I swipe up here at the very bottom, you can see you have your categories once again, and underneath your image, you have the search icon to do a reverse image search on Google Images. So I'm just going to tap on it once again, just for completion's sake. This time the Google image search term is female 40s, and you can see all the results for female 40s that contain our image. And if you keep on scrolling, you'll see again at the bottom, visually similar images. So I'm just going to tap on one of these sites for completionist sake, just to show you that the image does appear on this site. I'm going to select the second site here. And there we go, guys, there's the image. And that concludes the method for using the Google Photos app to perform a reverse image search. I've included all possible scenarios in which you may need to do a reverse image search on. One involves finding the image on Google Images. The other involves finding the image on a particular site. The third method involves doing a reverse image search on a downloaded image saved on your mobile device. And lastly, the fourth method involves using the Google Photos app, which is a photo viewer, using the Google Lens part of the app to do a reverse image search of one of our photos that we have stored in our gallery. So that concludes the video on how to do a Google reverse image search on mobile devices. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so